Spring is in the air and so is the pollen. If you suffer from allergies, you're well aware. KLTV 7's Mariella Gonzalez has more tonight on what has many of you feeling so crummy and what you can do about it. This is a tougher season than some. Dr. Mark Klein of Klein Family Medicine in Nacogdoches says more moisture this year is leading to higher pollen count and more severe allergic reactions. We've been seeing quite a few allergy patients already earlier uh, in this part of the winter than we typically do. Cedar, oak, mold spores, and ragweed are some of the most common allergens found throughout the region. But how can one tell the difference between a cold and allergies? When we're examining the ears, nose, and throat, listening to the lungs on a given patient, we can tell them if it's much more likely to be allergy or perhaps viral related. Dr. Klein says allergy symptoms are mostly persistent, which include eye irritation and a runny nose. Drug Emporium Pharmacy Manager David Davis in Tyler says one can prepare for the season by taking over-the-counter medications such as Claritin or Zyrtec. Although sometimes your body will get used to a certain uh, allergen, uh, allergy ingredient that you're taking, and it just won't quite work the same as you're used to it working. If that's the case, Davis suggests to swap out medications. For more severe allergies, Dr. Klein recommends to make a visit with your primary health provider for allergy testing. We can actually formulate a mixture that's specific for that patient that decreases the sensitivity to the very things that they're struggling with. Mariella Gonzalez, KLTV 7 News. And right now the big struggle is with tree pollen with juniper, ash, and oak causing a lot of trouble for many East Texans.